Hello everyone and welcome to my lecture on nature of living group on nucleophilic substitution reaction. First let us see what is a living group in nucleophilic substitution reaction. A living group is an atom or a group that leaves a molecule with electron pair as a result of heterolytic cleavage of the bond between it and rest of the molecule. Here is a mechanism of SN1 and SN2 reaction. In both reactions, the living group goes out with electron pair and is indicated by green color. Breaking of the bond with the living group happens in the rate determining step of the reaction and therefore note that the change in the nature of the living group will affect the rate of both SN1 and SN2 reaction. Better the living group, the faster is the reaction. The key rule for the ability of the living group is that good living groups are weak bases. I repeat, a good living group is a weak base. You have to remember this rule throughout. Here you may think that we are talking about living group. Then where from the concept of base came? Remember, the living group is going out with electron pair and so it is an anion. Anions are conjugate base of acids and therefore living groups are bases. But what are weak bases? To understand this, let's look at the general equation for acid. An acid HA dissociate to give H plus and a conjugate base A minus. Strong acids give weak conjugate base and weak acids give strong conjugate base. Weak bases are stable and so the equilibrium constant of the, of the reaction is high and the reaction proceeds in the forward direction. Now why are weak bases stable? Weak bases are stable because they can hold the negative charge developed on it. Strong bases are not stable because they have a tendency to donate the electron, the negative charge developed on it rather than holding it. Some example of weak bases are iodide, bromide, water, sulfonates and according to the key rule since they are weak bases they are good living groups. Now here are certain factors which affects the ability of the living group. First factor the strength of the Rx bond. Weaker the bond with the living group, more easily it can be broken and faster is the substitution reaction. Secondly, polarizability of the Rx bond. More polarizable the Rx bond, faster is the substitution reaction. The third factor is the stability of the anion X- formed after breaking of the Rx bond. More the stability of the anion, faster is the substitution reaction. And the fourth factor is stabilization of the anion X- minus through solvation. Let's understand this better with some examples. It is observed that the order of reactivity of alkyl halides in nucleophilic substitution reaction is Ri greater than RBr greater than RCl greater than RF. Look here that the R, A, the R group is same in all cases. So the difference in the rate of the reaction is due to the leaving group. The key rule for the living group is a good living group is a weak base. So first let's see the basicity order. 
the basicity order of the halide ion is fluoride greater than chloride greater than bromide greater than iodide that means iodide is the most weak base because it is a conjugate base of strong acid hi weaker the base better it is as a living group so iodide is the best living group among all halide ions secondly when we go from fluoride to iodide the size increases and as a result of which the bond length increases and the strength of the rx bond decreases so easily the bond can be broken and faster is the reaction further when iodide is uh, further iodide is larger in size and less electronegative than fluoride and hence more polarizable and can act as a better living group therefore taking into account all the above factors the reactivity order of alkyl halide is ri greater than rbr greater than rcl greater than rf let's see another example sulfonates like tosylate triplet mesylates are good living group why let's look at the mechanism the sulfonate group which is shown in red color is displaced easily by the nucleophile in nucleophilic substitution reaction the sulfonate formed due to the reaction is highly stable because of resonance and the stability of the sulfonate ion will drive the reaction in the forward direction and the reaction is faster moreover triplet tosylate and mesylates ions are weak base of very strong sulfonic acids and therefore they are good living group following the same rule good living groups are weak bases similarly water and ammonia are a good living group because it is a weak base of strong acid h3o+ and nh4+ respectively strong acids always give weak bases after dissociation let's see some example of bad living groups living groups are like oh minus or minus nh2 minus in alcohols ethers and amines respectively are bad living groups now here the atom is bonded to rest of the molecule through oxygen or nitrogen oxygen or nitrogen is electronegative smaller in size and less polarizable therefore have the characteristic of strong or hard bases strong bases are poor living group as strong bases have a tendency to donate the electron rather than holding it and hence they are less stable and cannot be displaced by nucleophiles nucleophilic substitution reaction in alcohol ethers and amines are very difficult and sometimes unachievable here is a table showing various categories of living groups from excellent to very poor and with some, with their examples now we know what are bad or poor living groups and what are good living groups but can we convert poor living groups to good living groups yes here are some examples we know alcohols do not undergo nucleophilic substitution reaction because oh minus is a poor living group and is difficult to be displaced by a nucleophile but the reaction is achievable through protonation when alcohols 
are treated with acids protonation happens on the oxygen atom and OH group is then converted into a good living group water and can be displaced by the nucleophile. Similarly, alcohols when converted to alkyl halides and sulfonates, the OH group can be converted into a good living group and the reaction is feasible. Ethers also do not undergo nucleophilic substitution reaction as OR- is a poor living group. It cannot be displaced even by a good nucleophile I-. The reaction is achievable through protonation. The treatment of alkyl ether with acid protonates the ethereal oxygen and creates a good living group and the reaction is possible. Now change in the living group can also affect the rate of the reaction. Let's see this example. Alkyl chloride when reacts with water the reaction is very slow as chloride is not a good living group and water is also a weak nucleophile. Therefore the reaction is difficult to achieve. So what can we do to accomplish the reaction? Will change in the living group fasten the reaction? Yes, it is observed uh, that when, when alkyl chloride is converted to alkyl iodide, the same SN2 reaction with water is faster. Alkyl iodide can be converted to uh, alkyl iodide can be obtained from alkyl chloride by another SN2 reaction as iodide is not only a good living group but also a good nucleophile. So conversion of alkyl chloride to alkyl iodide is also a fast reaction. The net result is the change of the living group from chloride to iodide fasten the reaction. Iodide is known as a nucleophilic catalyst as it acts as a good nucleophile and a good living group. Here we come to the end of the topic. In summary, a living group is an atom or a group that leaves the molecule with electron pair and as a result of heterolytic cleavage of the bond between it and the rest of the molecule. The key rule for the ability of the living group is good living group are weak bases. Change in the living group affect both SN1 and SN2 reaction. Ability of the living group depends on strength of the bond, polarity of the bond and the stability of the living group. Strong bases are bad living groups. Sometimes slight modification in the living group can bring success and the reaction can be accomplished. Iodide is a good nucleophile and a good living group. Therefore, it is known as nucleophilic catalyst. That's all for today's lecture. Myself, Dr. Kakli Lairi, signing off and will be back soon with the next lecture. If you like my lecture, please subscribe and comment. The link for the earlier lectures are provided in the description box. Thank you and bye-bye.